Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the next installment of the Talking Trust video series. Uh, my name is John Ray. I'm the director of HSM product management at Talus, and I'm joined today by Brian Trupek, the senior VP of product management from uh, Digicert. Hi, Brian. Hey, John. Thanks for having me here today. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, today, <laughs> we are going to talk about how Digicert and Talus are making PKI easy for our customers. So let me get some slides up here. So, so Brian, what's, what's so important about PKI? Yeah, John. So, you know, from a DigiCert perspective, we kind of look at, um, you know, three main pieces to PKI, the authentication, um, the encryption, and the integrity. And, and we look at these three things um, uniquely with PKI because you can do it so effectively, so securely. Um, you know, this PKI technology has been around for plus side of 20 years, um, and it has weathered the test of time very, very well. Uh, very high security applications built on this. Um, and so we have kind of at this core from providing, you know, user and device authentication, data encryption, and, and system integrity around these, these three principles. Um, this is where our products kind of fill out and where we work with Talus a lot to, to deliver on this vision. Yeah, so it's it's really a, a foundational technology for a lot of security systems, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, it's it's found in everything. I mean, you're talking door locks, IoT, you know, uh, government entities, passports, um, websites. You know, it, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. So so from a Digicert perspective, to go just a layer deeper, um, you know, we have a platform. Uh, called Digicert One, and you know this is really Digicert bringing together a lot of technologies um, that we've developed through the years. This is our, our you know backing with our Generation Five CA infrastructure, um, and, and we pulled this forward into a cloud native platform uh, that offers a super flexible deployment in factories, on premise for customers, customers clouds, and we have a managed offering ourselves. Um, it, and, and it just it allows the customers to use those kinds of PKI use cases um, that we just mentioned briefly in any way that they want and, and have very secure software that is then updatable in all of those paths, uh, deployment patterns, um, deploy that in, in huge scale, right? So if you have the cloud behind you, if you know, we're, we're running in a Kubernetes uh, sort of infrastructure, you can dynamically scale out across resources um, and we deliver all of that, you know, kind of great tech stuff behind the scenes um, on top of uh, offering very customer centric workflows around, you know, things like enterprise authentication, DevOps, IoT, document signing, and some things we'll talk about later. Um, and all of this, you know, is backed from a PKI perspective with HSMs, and, and we have uh, very tight integrations with Talus. So it's all about making it easier for customers to deploy at scale. That, that's right. Yeah. Deploy and, and use, right? Because what we saw in previous platforms was that we had uh, customers would try to use a, a generic PKI platform to solve all the kinds of needs I just you know mentioned, uh, and they'd run into trouble, right? Because one platform can't be built to solve all of those things. So when you look at the actual customer-centric perspective for how they're trying to solve things, meet them there with PKI, all of a sudden you've got some magic and, and you know that's kind of where we saw liftoff. Okay, so it's about deploying and managing once it's deployed. Yeah, excellent. So how do, how does that tie into the HSMs? Yeah, that's a super good question. So we got a little screenshot here. Um, this is one of the areas we're super proud of in, in the product stack. The the first HSMs that we implemented and integrated with uh, were the Talus HSMs, uh, and you can actually see in the screen here. Uh, some of the safe net provider setup, but not, not only did we integrate with those. Um, we also, uh, you know, provided really rich management. We have pretty industry leading web console where you can actually configure the HSM. You can configure HA groups. You can do all sorts of HSM management very, very easily from the web page, right? Inside the Kubernetes console, deploying, you know, into a, a containerized infrastructure, mapping back to your Talos HSM for that strong key protection and providing powerful roles and, and rights and access controls around uh, you know, policy-driven access to that. So from a foundation, you can deploy a strong trusted PKI 
root certificates, ICAs, et cetera, protected in the HSM. Uh, and then upstream in the different workflows in the application, customers are able to consume that and use it without having to worry about all that HSM uh, layer or configuration, they can get to work. Yeah, so I guess PKI and, and HSMs and that foundation, they kind of go together, that protection of that uh, that that key and keeping it easy for the deployment and the, and, and the uh, uh, management of that is important. Yeah, that's right. In, in all of our use cases, that key protection is absolutely critical. Um, you know, we have many government types of use cases, large industry, um, you know, there's, there's different ways people are using this and they, and they want to ensure the integrity of trust for their systems. All right. And I guess when it gets to that, making it easy, it's, making it quick to deploy as well. It, it is, yeah. I mean, one of the, the benefits that we have seen is, you know, we had a, a system and, and some customers still have it out there um, that was on premise and a very traditional, you know, kind of Windows install architecture, uh, get a database uh, running behind it and, you know, cluster and configure and do all these things. It, it took us with our customers oftentimes you know, 10 weeks, right? Like you're, you're talking two and a half months in some cases to, to deploy and configure and get to a usable PKI system, right? That's a lot of time. That's a lot of opportunity cost. Now with the modern PKI, we're doing this in minutes, not months. And we have the ability to, you know, if you already have like, you know, a Microsoft Azure cluster, a Kubernetes cluster or something configured, you can deploy into that pretty much instantaneously. You can connect that with a Talos HSM uh, and you can be up and running um, you know, within an hour. And now from a customer perspective, they can test the system. They can test integrations. They can you know, forget about all of that heavy lifting and get to work using PKI uh, almost immediately. And, and that really helps out everybody. Yeah, that's it. Certainly does when when you can do things quickly, they get rid of all that. Uh, I'll, I'll call it baggage and deploy quickly, test quickly. That that certainly helps. Now we talked about, um, or we talked. To, you mentioned earlier, kind of the high level value of PKI and for authentication, encryption, and integrity. Uh, how do you break that down into the more real world use cases that that uh, that it fits into? Yeah, I mean, this I could go for a half hour on this slide, so I'll go quick, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think at its core, Digicert is providing easy to use PKI, and we're doing that through automation. Um, where PKI is unseen, you know, our customers tell us that's where it's most valuable, right? It's seamlessly working and it's not burdening people. We see five kind of major groups of use cases, and we have workflows built around these servers, the, you know, your typical kind of web server, um, you know, the key management associated with web server where Talos comes in and those perspectives too user like so if you think about enterprise users um you know email security uh, like s mime um, synchronizing keys across multiple applications you know mobile devices laptops ipads authentication and mdm those sorts of activities all have pki powered behind it for protection of those assets so Doc so so brian with the servers and the users it's really about uh, ensuring the identity of those different things yeah, identity for you know the web server use cases absolutely. Uh, mobile devices authentication, email right. There's there's mm -hmm. um, identity in there. Email also is about you know encryption of those messages and tampering. Yeah, yeah. protecting that data too. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, you kind of look forward then, like document signing uh, use cases where we work in the EU, like uh, you know EIDIS and qualified signing and uh, Adobe integrations uh, for consumer solutions, uh, where we're able to do individual mass signing regulated, where we're we're implementing these flows to allow people to get these documents signed and use you know third party systems to do that. And we're providing that key management underneath and, and we're making all that HSM management and all those components pretty seamless for those customers to consume it. From a device management perspective in the lower right, if you think about IoT, we do everything from the chip manufacturer and the supply chain where they're fabricating chips through the device manufacturer in factory and injecting credentials or identities into devices, authentication into devices to when a device gets fielded and needs to be updated and, and firmware needs to be signed and things like that. We've, we cover that whole spectrum of those, those use cases. And I think that's a cool highlight that those use cases are very different than the others. 
Yeah, and that seems to be a growing area with more and more connected devices from phones to smart home to, to um, uh, even printers and things like that. Everything, airplanes, right? We do yep. stuff with airplanes. <laughs> so there's everything in there. And then last but not least is DevOps, which um, you know is just such a growing area with cloud transformation these days. You know, customers changing the security perimeter of their infrastructure to include the cloud. They want to ensure the integrity of containers, workloads. Uh, they want to ensure the uh, uh, the identity of those things as well, so that they can go have trusted systems running in maybe third party operated uh, data centers or, or cloud uh, environments, while managing the secrets and the privacy related to you know how developers or um, you know the SRE teams are deploying software. And and so we have very tight integrations to automate all of these. Yeah, and I think in in the world, security is being built in by the developers. So you need to have this sort of nice workflow built in with them. It's not added on after the fact anymore. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I think you can skip to the next one where we talk a little yeah. bit about that. So to that point, I mean, it's a great segue. Um, you know, from the developer perspective, just starting down there, those integrations we have for that automation is right into the things like the IDEs that, that they're writing code in, right into the Kubernetes and Docker's uh, uh, management systems that they're using, things like that. Uh, and, and you go around, you know, kind of the, the circle here. There's all of this third party technology in all these PKI use cases where PKI is being used. And we just have these integrations to them, right? Where we, we can help manage whatever it is, you know, related to some of the, the key aspects of the usage of them to the PKI deploying certificates and uh, allowing identity access or encryption in, in all these places. So this really shows a lot of the different integrations of, of the solution of the, the, the PKI and the DigiCert and the, and the HSMs with other third-party products and how it ties in. Yeah, that's right. And and in devices down there, just as an example, like you see Talus down there, you know, that's a great example of where we work together because in that device manufacturer segment for IoT, where um, you know somebody's producing a device, oftentimes they want the PKI system in that factory or in 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 the network of the factories, and they also want the HSMs there, right? They want full key sovereignty protection, um, data sovereignty. As things are going into devices to be, you know, sent out into the world, it, it's a great way where the combination of all these technologies come together to really solve a meaningful problem for those guys. Yeah, so that that kind of segues nicely into the different uh, deployment options and where people are are looking to deploy. You talked about sovereignty and inside a data center, a uh, uh, particular factory versus uh, a cloud ser sort of service or solution. Yeah. Yeah, so I think when you look at, you know, this is kind of an example, high level deployment architecture, right? There's so mm -hmm. many ways people can deploy this uh, in, in so many different scenarios. But I, I think the keys uh, of, of what a deployment looks like is, right, there's there's a, a PKI server centrally. And, and we do things with like auto enrollment software, uh, you know, auto enrollment itself in, in Microsoft technologies enterprise gateways that are in premise for customers to control enrollments and, and allow uh, you know, users to tie to directories and enroll. Um, we have the, the clients, right? So Windows, Mac, um, all these things that take care of that endpoint technology to configure the PKI, deploy it, get it into software that's using it so that users don't have to. If you gave a user an SMIME cert and said, go configure it across all your devices so that the keys work, that's never gonna happen. And so we have the software that ties in, whether it's mobile, laptop, whatever, uh, to do that and make all those things work. You know, and this is kind of one example, but all of this ultimately, right, is backed where we have a Talus HSM in multiple places here. Um, you know, for our customers, when they have a solution that is on-premise and talking back hybrid, talking back to our cloud, they're going to want to protect those keys, those communication keys, those authentication keys to their core CA that's in, in our cloud uh, with a Talus HSM on their end uh, to protect how things are authenticating and, and how any local key escrow is happening. Uh, they could you know, store keys and, and escrow them for any of these use cases on premise and, and work with a hybrid PKI deployment. Uh, and then obviously 
you know, as we're back ending uh, an, an HSM or a, a PKI as a managed service for somebody, we have, you know, the, the HSMs using, uh, providing strong protection for those uh, keys related to the root CAs and the signing CAs, the ICAs that customers are deriving PKI credentials from. It, it really powers this whole thing. Yeah, so it looks like lots of different, like, like you said, uh, uh, a million different ways how you could deploy PKI for all of those different use cases with different requirements. And it looks like we have flexibility here for the customers to choose what fits. That's right. I think that's, that's a great summary. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, so when you you put all this together, you know why why Digicert and Talus? Why Talus HSMs? How did they fit into to work to help solve these uh, P PKI deployment issues and make it easy for our customers? Yeah, I mean it, it's it's so foundational. These two things just belong together, right? We mm -hmm. if you have the workflows that we're providing for things like root of trust or you know compliance auditing, cert management, that that's all great. But unless those keys, those ICAs, those roots, unless those those assets are protected with a HSM, um, the whole system's worthless, right? You're, you you don't have any value. You don't have any trust in PKI without that strong protection underneath it. And you know, it's not just that you know the PKI, the roots, and the ICAs. Like I said, it's also you know when customers are actually using this things like key escrow and some of these other areas where you're generating PKI assets and you need to securely store them so that somebody else can't access them. That's what's underneath this whole platform. Yeah, I guess one of the things with PKI is that uh, it, 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 the technology comes down to a, the protection of a root key, makes it easy to deploy in all the different devices or entities or, or uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, I guess devices or identities trust each other, but yeah. it, it relies on that one one key. And so making sure that that's well protected is really important. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I guess compliance sometimes comes into play too, but depending on the use case. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at like a government or even IoT where they maybe have some regulations they need to produce devices with. Uh, in, in a lot of cases, there could be regulatory components for how they need to manage data and, and um, encrypt it and sign it and store it and uh, provide access to it. And, and it's integral to what we're providing. Absolutely. And I guess from a cost perspective, if, it, if it's quick to set up and easy to set up, then that certainly reduces the costs. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, the fact that we can deploy so quickly <clears throat> and get customers connected, right? We've got all these standard protocols, SCAP, EST, um, you know, CMP v2, Acme, all these things built into the platform so people can get going really quickly. Um, that allows them to get in, scale, use this thing, um, and, and do this at, at you know, kind of record-setting pace that we haven't had before. So they're, they're kind of time to value has you know just uh, decreased so dramatically that they can immediately you know kind of judge what the system is going to do for them. Absolutely, and and I guess from uh, we mentioned uh, easy to set up, but also continuing the management and the auditing and the reporting of that. You know, that's a really important part to it, and making sure that that is easy to do as well. Yeah, I mean, it's sure. always a piece, right? Where you have regulation, where you have PKI, where you you're providing roots of trust. Um, you need to have that auditability. You need to have the the ability to produce and demonstrate that for third parties or internal parties that are interested in in how you protected these assets and ensuring that you do have trust. And, and that's where certificate management comes in, right? So, on top of all of these great things we we talked about, having all those protocols, having all these workflows, having the auditability, the strong key protections, that ties it all together so that ultimately below this layer of PKI, you can manage the certificates inside of all these workflows customers are using. Awesome. So that's a really great overview of how Digicert and Talos have been working together to, to uh, uh, make it easy, make PKI easy for our customers. Uh, we've got um, uh, just some information here that if you want any more information that there's a, a nice solution brief talking about uh, Digicert and PKI management. Uh, we've got some information on the integration of uh, Digicert and uh, Talus HSMs and um, just some more general information in general and, and, and a link here to uh, if you want to go and look at some of the other Talking Trust videos. So. I'd like uh, to, I guess, in closing, 
uh, bring us back to our, our, our faces. Uh, I'd like to thank Brian and for that, uh, that excellent talk and information on PKI and HSMs together from DigiCert. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for listening and watching. And yeah. hope you have a good day. Thanks for having me.